Welcome to the Local Marketing Source Weekly Update, brought to you by LocalMarketingSource.com. This week's Local Marketing Update is brought to you by Scott Gallagher. Scott is the co-founder of Local Marketing Source and has become the recognized expert in providing online marketing services to local businesses. Follow Scott on Twitter at ScottGallagher5 and on Facebook.com slash Scott P. Gallagher. Hey, well, good afternoon, everyone. Scott Gallagher here with Local Marketing Source, and we are here with our weekly local marketing industry update. Now, in the last week, there hasn't been really a lot of changes, but as we're approaching the end of the year, obviously, something that's important is planning for your agency or your small business in 2016, and, and really what the local online landscape is going to look like uh, in 2016. So I figured that those were going to be two topics to, to talk about. You know, this week is really winding down. I just finished my Christmas shopping. Actually, I just finished it half an hour ago. So as soon as I get off with this call, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm I'm done for business, most likely for pr pretty much till the till the end of the year. But especially over the Christmas break, I'm gonna get to wrapping some gifts. But um, for now, let's uh, let's let's stay focused on what the marketing landscape is gonna look like. And, and especially in the world of online digital marketing for uh, local businesses. Um, so first off, I just want to have a little discussion in regards to plans. I know we had talked about uh, that last week and there were some templates available for you to download inside the LMS portal. And excuse me while I take a drink of my, uh, my Christmas drink. And... Um, <clears throat> An effective plan is is merely no more than just telling you what to do and when to do it and have a system of, of measurement. And so how that really gets done, you know, you can, you can handle it many different ways. One way or another, you want to have something with you that you could see and look at throughout your work week. Uh, something that is attainable and something that is measurable with goals. I want to accomplish this. I want a complete website. I want these videos. I want these opt-in channels. I want this autoresponder. And these are the dates that I want to get things by. These are the number of clients. This is the revenue. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this type of activity, make this type of phone calls. It's all involved in your plan. Um, I'd like to see some people's plans feel free to email me your plan and i will uh share my thoughts back to you it's uh, it's it's the place you've got to start and and you know failure to plan is really ultimately planning to fail so uh, i i i'd like to see what some businesses can do in 2016 at local marketing source especially after the premium program and we're going to see a lot of that with uh the premium program start uh, come january 1st it's going to be very exciting so, so you hear my cat in the background whining, wants some attention. All right. So what does the digital landscape look like for 2016? I mean, it's no surprise. Uh, as the years have gone by, more and more have different elements that the search engines are looking into and you know in the last couple of years there has been discussions of content marketing and, and creating your avatars and your segments and and it's really just paralleling traditional marketing rules and so we've got to assume that the trend is going to continue with that and when we start to scour the internet and look at all the different individual predictions as to what is going to be the common theme is 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 ultimately leaning towards that and 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 just that well i mean it's no surprise these are these are marketing elements that we've been discussing at local marketing source for quite some time as to what is ultimately necessary to rank you know i had uh, i think this is turning into a story it was a friend of mine and he's just frustrated with seo he's like he knows knows my stuff for quite some time and, and and pretty educated he knows what to do and he sends me a message says, what's the best way to get 10 links i know or 100 links i know you're not going to like this question it's like well really i mean go create 100 articles and get those 100 articles distributed to local publications and theme related blogs oh i knew you'd say that well yeah i mean 
that's where the real value is, is you're creating marketing content that truly, genuinely, your potential customers are going to get value from and going to read. And, and that's ultimately what marketing really is. Uh, that's, that's what SEO is. The definition of marketing is exactly the same definition of what search engine optimization should be. It's creating content and having that content distributed and consumed by your potential audience and a society at large. And so the trends of 2016 are just that. Um, let me go to my notes for that and, and start to talk, discuss some, some further details. You know, for example, a video content is going to overtake written content. Well, yeah, of course. You know, technology is now there that anybody can create video content relatively easy. The tools to, to produce it, to edit it, to, to create it, to upload it, to host it, to deliver it. It's, it's all in a very, very easy, simple, feasible, feasible fashion now. And video content is going to be consumed differently than written content. You know, we've got three ways to influence human behavior, and that's, of course, the words that we say, the tone that we use, and our physiology. And, and with video, we have all three of those elements working for us. We're written content, we don't. We've only got, and it's a small percentage, it's about 7%. So just that in itself, it, it, it's, it's, it's evident that video is, is gonna be a better means of marketing than than written means uh, for businesses to communicate well it only makes sense then that it's going to be more valuable for seo and and uh you know that's a prediction that one is from forbes um Of course, mobile optimization is going to become more important than desktop optimization. Uh, that's already pretty much in place where roughly for local businesses, about 60% of the search traffic is going to come from mobile now uh, instead, of, instead of desktop. But that doesn't change strategy. What that really means is that you know businesses should have a mobile optimized website. It's more important. It's going to be more important in 2016 than 2015. But it's not the end all be all. Not all traffic comes to your website that, that is going to find you in the search engines anyhow. Um, roughly 50%. So, you know, it's, it's, and I don't think that's going to change. That may actually get smaller because as Google provides more and more information about local businesses, less and less people have a need to go to business websites. And that's the, that's really what Google's really trying to do. So, you know, the, the, the aspect of having to have a mobile website is important, but it's not the end-all be-all. And businesses are not going to fall out of the rankings because they don't have a mobile optimized website, regardless of what you hear. Um, we're we're seeing... Roth IRA makes sense for them. For many, there are advantages Whoa. to a Roth IRA over traditional. Well, you don't get a tax... Sorry about that. That's... <laughs> You know the browsers, man. Sometimes you have a browser open and just out of the blue an ad just pops up like that. And it's like, holy Jesus. Put on a presentation, you gotta make sure everything is closed down. Search is changing, okay? Now, 20 years ago when search first came out, it, it was really difficult for for programmers to to really figure out how to create a tool for people to utilize for what they were really looking for. And really what we do is we ask questions in our head and, and we go and try and solve those questions with search engines. And so the way we that we think about search query is tending to change. The fact of these digital assistants that have come about, uh, Siri, Cortana, Google Now, uh, they allow us to almost communicate and get back to the way that we think as human beings. And so content has got to answer those. Well, really, in the world of marketing, those are those questions that are gonna that need to be answered for the business that you're marketing 
really comes down to the sales objections that one is going to face when they're trying to sell that particular service. So you can think of the objections of a dentist or a chiropractor or whatever it may be. And that ultimately is the content that needs to be to be created and will therefore be at the top of the queries of searches of digital assistance because you're answering questions. Um, <clears throat> content is, is now becoming much more readily indexed and readily available. Uh, Google is, is moving a lot faster, but also indexing, you know, the, the aspects of Facebook and Twitter in, in terms of, of real time. Uh, that's not going to be so important for a lot of local businesses, um, more so of, of larger businesses on the Internet that's got greater volume and, and whatnot. Uh, but that's that's going to give an opportunity for local businesses to when when in need, you know, if they've got certain products that people are waiting for or whatnot, they'll be able to get that information out quicker. So following a lot of these trends of, of 2016, again, um, really comes down to the fact that local search is going to get even more local. Uh, the fact that different devices are starting to come out, uh, you know, with searchability of, of wearable devices, uh, devices inside of cars, uh, Ford just announced a partnership in the last day or two with Google for the self-driving cars. Uh, so that, you know, we really got to start looking towards that. Not that people have Google inside their cars today, but that's, the fact is, is that search is just not restricted to desktop or mobile. Um, I think 2016 is, you know, going to be the, the, the your early adopter stage is 2017 and 2018. That's going to be the shift, but I've been saying for quite some time that, you know, it, it's, it's really just display devices and where these display devices are that it's weird to see my own ad when I'm watching my big screen TV and, and I'm watching YouTube because it's an app on my TV and it comes through. You know, the television is a place to advertise and, and get content out. Your watch you know, these small watches, a tablet when somebody's in, in the bathroom, um, your vehicle and, and uh, you know, perhaps for restaurant information or, you know, when I was trying to shop today and find the best deals and, and whatnot. So creating the right content for where the users are going to be uh, is very important. And, you know, as a marketer, that's having discussions with your clients and and talking about their customers as to how their customers had had ultimately found them the reasons why their customers went to them in the first place the problems that those customers may have solved you ask these types of questions why why are you know if you're dealing with dentists why are why do your patients come to you what do your patients like about you what do they what do they say about you have they referred anybody else? How many times have they come? How often? You know, and, and getting that information, and then you can create content centered around those, those concepts. Anyhow, uh, I'm just going to take a little break. That comes to the conclusion of certain updates of what I wanted to really talk about this week. I wanted to cover... Uh, you know, just what was looking forward in, in 2016 and reminders about uh, plans. And if you've got any questions at all in regards to your agency, or, or regardless of uh, if it was in a, if the topics that we're talking about today or anything else that's in regards to your business that you may be facing, some of your clients, uh, maybe share some of your goals. Type in, type it in the question box or raise your hand and I'll be happy to answer them. Well, thanks for watching the local marketing industry update. We've got these things coming out every single week. So if you liked with what you heard, just click the button right above me right here to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to get a little bit more, right over here, go check out localmarketingsource.com. We've got free reports that you can grab. You can even register for our free marketing course to get in and see the portal. 
or just go ahead and follow us on some of the social channels. We'll be around. Until next time.